Well, it's a slightly windy day here, and uh, today we're going up Mile Vamai. So those are the paths are going up. They'll be going up the bottom one. So why do you come and join me? Mile am I? 1818 feet. Here we go. There's Voil Venkley, that's where I was uh, on my last video. Now there's some path walking up. Uh, sorry about the wind today, I'm going to try and shield it as much as I can. Right off the top of Voil Venkley, there's a Jubilee Tower, uh, which was apparently only part built. and. Uh, it was blown down, to a red anyway. It was blown down in the Great Storm um, in about 1950, something like that. We'll be up there about 20 minutes, half an hour. Someone's left uh, some clothes up here. Probably remembrance of somebody. That's how I'm going to try and shield the mics as much as I can on the camera. Don't know if it's going to rain again, but. Got a few dribbles coming down. Just up top there, there's another path which we saw earlier on. Don't know why there's another path there. It only meets up on this path a little later on. Right, that road there takes you to the car park which is down there. Takes your way down to Pen Barris takes you straight down into Riffin, uh, a few bendy windy roads and this uh, single track so if you ever go down there be very careful. As I've uh, once had a bit of a cropper down there with a BMW, they smashed the front of my car up and they tried to complain to a solicitor because all they, all they got was just a, a scratch on the bumper. Well, once I wrote off to the solicitors and explained to them what happened, they didn't want to know. Uh, the insurance, uh, insurance company didn't want to know either. Well, it's a bit rainy. As you can see, I've got my hood up. Uh, I thought it might be brightened up a bit. I couldn't have met office, which you can't trust anyway. Um, it was going to be a bit sunny. A few showers, don't mind a few showers. Don't mind a bit of wind as long as we're not together. The mist has come in a little bit, so I'm hoping it just stays like this and that we can uh, have a nice little walk up and we can take some photos, some, some thumbnails and some photos and video uh, of the top mile of my and Jubilee Tower. Here we are a little bit further up the path. As the footpath goes down to that. Here around that middle of the picture. I don't know if it carries on down. Who's going to find out? Tea now. All tea now, right? And look, there are days. There are some fantastic uh, scenery here. Really colourful, green. Looks like I'm wearing a bit of uh, stuff with the uh, lens again. Gotta keep wiping it. A bit of a rainbow here uh, in the distance today as well. But uh, we're about a quarter of the way up now. I remember the first time I walked up here. Oh, I was absolutely knackered. Okay, so, yeah, if, if you're here and you're the panting, it's not me, okay? Right, the rain's coming from another direction now, so we should have a, a clear run on the lens. Plus it has eased off a little bit. Hang on. I forgot to bring my lens uh, cleaner. My lens cloth, so I have to use my finger. I know I'm not supposed to, but there you go. 
he seized off. His son coming out behind me. Yes, it looks like it. Right. Takes about half an hour, 45 minutes to walk up. And half an hour to walk down. Go figure. <laughs> I say it's, uh, sun's coming out a little bit now. So I do hope that you uh, can see me okay, hear me okay. I hope the lens is clear enough. You know, I didn't even realise you could even see the sea from here. Didn't even realise that. Right in the distance. Here. Yeah, it's actually a nice little walk up here, especially on a summer's day. But uh, <laughs> it's uh, coming from the middle of November, so it's going to be a little bit chilly. I don't know what you think of our view, views today. We're about approaching halfway now. Uh, from the top of this path, we should be able to look over and see Jubilee Tower, right at the summit of uh, Moyle Van Moy. I'd say 1,818 feet of sea level. Well, just about seeing the Welsh 3,000s of a distance. That clears up, I will show you. Do you remember the path I told you about earlier on? That branches off to the right, but only rejoins the path further up. This is it here. There it is, rejoining. I don't know why people have to go that way. You only go about 40, 50 feet higher than the path had just come up. Uh, there's actually an actual uh, complete walk, uh, uninterrupted walk between Moyle Van Moy and uh, hill further along with the hill fort on called uh, Moyle Arfa. I did it once, I'm, go I'm going to try it again very soon on camera. Easy enough getting there, but coming back it's a little bit difficult. It's like uh, you're climbing Moyle Van Moy on the path from the bottom up a very steep hill. Trust me, you have to stop every, every 12, 20 feet. I haven't done it once. Would you believe there's actually people who actually run it? Last time I was up here a few years ago, I actually got talking to one of them. Uh, hill runner. Very fit, I tell you now. Compliments to those hill runners. Uh, I mean, when we was halfway there, she was halfway back. And uh, she actually run. She actually run practically non-stop up that very steep hill. Anyway, we can see Jubilee Tower now. Just above the path. Hang on, it just a little bit. There's a lot of ever. And uh, quite a bit sheep. As you can see, as you can see, the sun has come out now. Which is, which is always good. <laughs> there you are. Distance is Jubilee Tower. Behind us, well, thankfully, has disappeared. All the uh, Eastland uh, of the foothills of Moyle Van Moy. It's nice to see that the sun's come out now. There's quite a few puddles, so. Round a little bit up here on our last couple of days. Apparently, we've uh, we just got over Storm Deirdre. Uh, we didn't feel much of it in Wrexham, but I don't know if any other parts of the country uh, ever you know, felt it. More uh, isolated to 
um, Northern Ireland, they down off Gerrit, Scotland and South East England, Cornwall, Devon. Uh, and they've predicted thunderstorms now, can you believe that? Anyway, we don't see a thunderstorm. Well, I, I, I haven't seen a thunderstorm for a few years, so be nice. Okay, here we are nearly at the top. Uh, so, uh, sun has come out just a little bit still. Uh, so, we're nearly at the top now. Uh, we're going to be taking some photos and uh, also going to be showing you around the Jubilee Tower and uh, what's on top and also going to be showing you the creek point as well so sorry about the wind here we are nearly at the top nice to see the sun still out Officially up the top of Mile Van Mai once again. One of the paths that leads to that small village down there, off the Mesquil Camp. And round, right round the back, right round the back, we've got a cage. I've never noticed this before. Right. I've read of that, are you still? Or pause it if you get this far. There you go if you prefer Welsh. There you go. <laughs> it actually looks like, but we said. Uh, in the chamber and it was actually filled in. That's the reason why you can get to the top. There you go. I've never noticed this before. Never. Yep. You must have had a central chamber. Why? I do not know. Probably will ne never will know. So, let's head to the top of the Jubilee Tower. Some of the most picturesque steps I've ever come across. And I've been up some steps. Here we go, we're at the top of the tower. The plate showing Bill's height. I'm making a seat in here. That's a, that's a journey in our have a chance to go from Denby to Pencavoyla, down Denby Moors. It's a wide path. Be very careful, very bendy, very windy, and a bit on the hilly side as well. Looking out towards Moyle Arthur and uh, Moyle Park. I mean, I mean on video, it's alright on video. joining me with uh, this uh, windy and slightly damp journey to, to, to a double mile that way. So thanks for joining me. Catch you again soon. Mile that way. See ya. Remember, your opinion counts.